Did you guys know that iPhone actually have some really annoying features that most people just live with? The good news is you don't have to. In this video, I'll show you some annoying iPhone features and the exact solution for each one. First one, when your iPhone is locked and you accidentally swipe left on the lock screen, the camera opens. This is annoying because kids can open the camera and record a lot of photos and videos. And sometimes when your iPhone is in your pocket, the camera opens by mistake and drains the battery. To fix this, go to the settings, then camera, and scroll all the way down. After iOS 26, you'll find an option called lock screen, swipe to open camera. Turn it off, and the camera will no longer open accidentally from the lock screen. Second one, screenshots. When you take a screenshot, you get the full screen preview. Then you have to tab the check mark, choose to save it to photos, files, quick note, or delete it. Even saving a screenshot takes extra steps, which is really annoying. To fix this, go to the settings, then general, then screen capture. Turn off full screen preview. Now, when you take a screenshot, it appears as a small preview in the bottom left corner and gets saved automatically without doing anything. Third one, incoming calls covering the entire screen while you're using your iPhone. This interrupts whatever you're doing and blocks the whole display. To fix this, go to the settings, then apps, open phone, tap incoming calls, and change it from full screen to banner. Now, when your iPhone is unlocked, calls appear as a small banner and you can keep using your iPhone normally. Fourth one, reachability. You're scrolling on Instagram, TikTok, or any app, and suddenly the screen moves down by mistake. This happens because of reachability, and it can be really annoying. To turn it off, you can go to the settings, then accessibility, tap touch, and turn off reachability. Last one, keyboard sounds and lock sounds. They might seem useful at first, but for many people, they become annoying very quickly. To turn them off, go to the settings, then sounds and haptics. Turn off keyboard clicks and lock sound. And that's it. These simple changes can make your iPhone much less annoying and a lot better to use. If you found this helpful, like, share with your friends, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you in the next one.